Hi everyone, uh, new week, new me. So I'm going to uh, come at this with a positive attitude today and we're gonna see what we can get done and hopefully have uh, some really good and productive time today because I think we're real close to getting uh, at least the fuel up and uh, hopefully that'll get the engine running. All right, so uh, as you can see, I got a, another one of these uh, quick connects in. This is a 5 16th, um, and this was actually a relatively easy part of uh, what was going on. Um, I did split the, or the, this thing split a little bit, but it's below the ridges, and it's on there pretty tight, so I'm hoping that'll keep working. Uh, this was actually pretty easy to do. Um, all I did was I took uh, this thing for the pipes, uh, making the pipes bigger. You wrap it around here. Um, so this is holding on to the, uh, the nylon cord. Um, and then you take uh, one of these guys, it was about $10, um, and you can uh, just press that fitting on slowly. So it'd be kind of like that. And it just presses that in. Um, and it pushes it up into the nylon uh, and that worked out actually really really well uh, so that was pretty easy and took about I don't know maybe five minutes tops to do but now I am kind of running into a bit of an issue because I can't uh, I got this adapter piece uh, which is 5 16th to 5 16th uh, steel to rubber um, but this doesn't really do anything like it, it won't it it's not doing the thing it needs to do because it's only going up in there a little bit uh hang on a second all right i got a couple of these so uh this is the same one that's on the fuel line um so i can only get it just a little bit onto this like that's as far as it'll go before it stops and this ridge right here needs to get uh, inside that to lock it in place because um, as you can see don't move um, it's going in about that far and uh, it should be traveling all the way up into the tunnel to about there to make a good connection so this piece uh, even though it's supposed to be the right size um, is too big to fit so that's okay um, I also got some of these uh, which are uh, three eighths um, so they should or it's uh, five sixteenths uh, steel to three eighths uh, nylon so what I'm planning on doing with one of these is putting it on the fuel filter since the fuel filter is uh, five sixteenths and then the hose that runs up to the uh, fuel pressure regulator is uh, 3 8 so I'm hoping that'll work easy uh, and I don't see why it shouldn't uh, really though a lot of these uh, problems are mine they're my fault um, which is okay uh, they're just due to lack of knowledge so like yes of course like fuel hoses are different sizes but that wasn't something I was thinking of so when I get fuel hose it was three-eighths or five-sixteenth, uh, those don't intermingle with each other, and that created a lot of the, the connection issues I was having. So one of the things I kind of learned was that if you have a, a low horsepower engine, which is like, according to the website, I was looking at under 350 horsepower, which seems like a lot to me, but whatever. Um, then they were like the five-sixteenth fuel line is generally what you're going to have which was what was on this car initially obviously um because this car should make about 140 horsepower um if you have like 350 to 450 then you step it up to a 3 8 line which is a little bit bigger and then if you have 450 to you know like 600 then it's like what half half inch um and you know that's way way more than we're going to be looking for here so i'm just trying to uh 
now that I have kind of that knowledge, trying to put that together into a cohesive package that can actually push the fuel forward, but it's um, been kind of a challenge so far. So we're still working on that, so we're going to have to go to the store and try and find an adapter piece that will fit. Okay, so what I've done now is I took out the uh, this guy that is the uh, <clears throat> heater hose thing and I just plugged it up with uh, this so the distributor can turn because I'm thinking that well it hits there so I'm thinking that if I can get it to turn enough it will have a better shot to fire however uh, I tried it a few times and it has not worked yet so I've got my battery charger hooked up there to try and uh, alleviate that issue um, but still haven't gotten it to uh, be able to fire off yet which is unfortunate but that's okay so I guess this is going to actually be part 10 of this series uh, I did not anticipate it uh, taking this long uh, for sure um, but uh, you know I'm really good at turning a simple task into a friggin life lesson so that's okay um, we're still working on getting it to just kind of run and idle uh, they make it look really easy on YouTube channels but I'm here to tell you uh, it uh, it takes some uh, some thinking um, but that's okay um, and then I still have to figure out the fuel issue um, the last little step of that but I'm getting closer on that one if nothing else at least I can get my red white and blue on the fuel pump so you know you got to take the winds where you can get them so we took the carburetor top off <clears throat> and checked the float and it's uh, it's floating um, so that does not appear to be stuck. Um, make sure it was filled with gas. Um, so yeah, it will fire off pretty reliably. So I think to me that indicates that spark is working uh, and that the distributor is in the right spot. I haven't been getting a lot of backfires um, when doing that. It'll run for just like a second or so. Um, so to me, what that's saying is the carburetor is not doing its job uh, for some reason. Uh, or there's some sort of a fuel issue because it's dying. Um, or maybe an exhaust issue. So I checked the carburetor and the floats are working. So... Uh, the, like there's gas in there and it's just not it's just not making that cycle so why would that be um, I don't know <clears throat> but I will say that this has been a really informative project so far because it's so many like it takes your creativity uh, your ability to research and learn and understand and test your patience um, and like it, it, your physical endurance in a lot of ways emotional endurance um, so it's it's been really good but I just like I don't I don't know where to go from here um, I really appreciate all the comments and tips that you guys have been giving me um, but I just I don't know what else to check really um, because, I mean, even even if I had the fuel situation fixed, uh, I mean, it would still be the same problem because I know there's already fuel in the bowl of the carburetor, so that's not what the problem is. Why would it not be running well? Um, I don't know, guys. I honestly don't know, so... Hmm. Let me let me try and figure some things out. Well, here's the deal. 
I don't know what else to do on this. I have researched and tinkered and put new parts on and <clears throat> just done everything that I can possibly think of to do to get this vehicle to run. Um, and it's just not running. And that's okay. Uh, you know, if this were a movie, I would find some little screw that wasn't all the way screwed in or uh, a wire that was unplugged and be able to just get it going. But uh, this is real life, so that's not always the case, and that's okay. You know, I, I have learned a lot, and I've had a lot of fun doing this, but I think it's also important to sometimes just understand and be humble that there are things that you just don't know and it's not that I couldn't ever figure it out but I just <laughs> I just don't know where to go from here to be honest with you so I think I'm going to have to get some help on this vehicle and it's not a it's not a loss it's not a failure I feel really proud of everything that dad and I have done. Uh, we had a lot of fun working together on this and we learned a whole heck of a lot. So to me, that's a win. And I got to spend a lot of time with dad doing this. So uh, that to me is a win. Um, and I don't feel bad. I wish, I really wish I could have got it running for you guys and for myself on my own, but I just, it's not gonna happen and and that's okay you can learn a lot from failure uh, as much as you can or more so from success so I think what I'm gonna do is see if I can find someone that can help me out with this old girl and uh, and get her running because she's she's gonna be a great car um, but she's gonna need somebody who knows a little bit more than I do in order to make that happen um, and that's okay. Uh, we, we've done a whole lot to her. Like, we put a new intake manifold on. That was something I never thought I'd do. Uh, we painted the valve covers. Uh, put a new distributor in. Maybe incorrectly, but, you know, it's kind of in. Uh, put a carburetor on, new air filter. Um, <clears throat> put a fuel pressure regulator pump. Put a new gas tank in. That thing was a beast. So, like, I've done a whole lot, but I just, there's just, there's too much here that I don't know, and not even that, like, and just stuff that I don't even know I don't know. Unknown unknowns, as they say. So, you know, that's okay. Um, I will uh, let you guys, like, film a, a conclusionary video, I suppose, when I can get her running and get her going. Uh, so you guys can see her um, and I mean there's still stuff that I can do on her on my own I just I can't get the engine to stay running um, that's okay though so until next time guys thank you so much for watching and following along with this journey um, and I hope that y'all's projects are going well and that uh, you know you feel inspired to go out there and take a chance if you have a you know an old car that's not running or you're interested in a car that like needs some loving uh, because these old cars are great they're wonderful um, <clears throat> and I probably spent uh, several hundred hours researching watching videos reading um, it, you know more time researching than I did actually working on it uh, just because I didn't you know have so many knowledge bases and that's uh, a good way to learn so I, I feel much more prepared to maintain this car and keep it going and spilling gasoline all over the front uh, so yeah uh, you guys get out there you know you, you keep keep exploring keep keep doing things I, I love hearing about your projects that you guys are working on there's so many of y'all that have old classic cars like this and that's great keep them running because they're not only a piece of history but you know they're they're beautiful on the road they've got such character and class to them um, and and they're great I love seeing them on the road okay guys so until next time be well <laughs>